And uh, shifting to the Ukraine crisis, Kiev says it has officially dropped its neutral status in global affairs, paving the way for the country's membership in NATO. This marks another sign of the geopolitical shift in, in this region. How important is this declaration? Well, it's a move that Russia has vehemently opposed and shows the ever-growing divide between Kiev and Moscow. And it says Ukraine's security forces continue to clash with pro-Russian rebels in the east of the country. The Ukrainian government formally announced on Wednesday that it would change its non-alignment status, repealing a law that was enacted in 2010. Despite the move, Kiev's head of the Secretariat of Security Cooperation said it was still a long way before Ukraine could become a NATO member. It's impossible for Ukraine to join NATO today. In the first place, we need to lay the legal groundwork for gaining NATO membership. Later, Ukrainian President Petro Poroshenko urged Russia to withdraw its troops from his country and close the eastern border. He said doing so would create peace in the war-torn region within a matter of weeks.